one, given that she doesn't have the permission of the Biden administration, yes, and she's going under her own steam, and it's also met with widespread condemnation from Beijing as well. Mm. Uh, is this ill-advised? No, or not at all ill-advised. Um, we, America is blessed with an extremely weak and potentially senile president. Uh, the Chinese have no claim on Taiwan. They have never occupied Taiwan. It is not their territory. But they think they can bully their way into getting what is really a, a hegemony over the whole of the Southeast Asia. And they begin with a perceived fear on the part of the Americans of actually dealing with, uh, dealing with uh, um, Taiwan. And uh, um, it's well covered, actually, in Mark Armand's piece in the mail, where the case against what Pelosi is doing is described as a noble stance, but she's dousing the fiery breath of the Chinese dragon with petrol. Mm. What is the future of the world if we're frightened of China? Right. On that, what do we do? Because the Chinese ambassador to the UK has warned, you know, don't send your MPs either because uh, we, we'll deal with that as well. I mean, should we actually then take the same stance? Right. Yes, we will take the decision to support yeah. democracy and, and wave the well, flag for that. Because, look, you look at the Chinese. Now, I was around in Hong Kong in 1997 when it was handed mm. back to China. And everything was done by Chris Patton to try to ensure that the, the people of Hong Kong were protected, their rights were protected. Chinese have driven a coach and horses mm. through that. Mm. You see, the thing about China, China, it's a big country, but actually it's got a very immature political system. Why has it got an immature political system? Because a man like Xi, who is not doing very well, by the way, but he wants to be sort of global leader for life and probably for several other lives. And wants to be well, re-elected shortly. He and, wants yeah. to be re-elected. And he is, um, he, we're put in a position where um, he can argue from a standpoint of arguments that are not tested in a, in a, in a, in a mature democracy with, with, with anybody who dares say what they think. And I think at a certain point, particularly with a weak president, other senior people within the American uh, political establishment have got to have got to stand firm because but what is the alternative? Stand, yes, but you say stand firm. What can she actually achieve? Who really is she? Obviously, we know she's the, the Speaker of the House of Representatives in the state. She's not the President. She yeah. doesn't have the President's backing. She's not another sort of figurehead but, or... But the President person. will fall out with her at his peril but what, and he what, is but, not going to be the candidate But as for you say, this time. could actually have consequences, you know, to the... You know, if it's dousing... What the are they going to do? Well, Look, what are they going to do? China's got to out 400, 400 nuclear weapons. That's not to be sneezed at against America's 5,000. I think what they really, really... We've got to stop being frightened of the Chinese. We, you, walked, we ran away from Hong Kong. Yeah, and is, is, is that the issue that after Ukraine, that our assessment of, of, of the, the world stage now has changed, that we've got to be shown to be taking a start? Well, I think the lens that everyone's looking at this is slightly skewed, and I'm wondering if David's got a, a, an, an opinion on the fact of timing of this. Do you think the timing of it, David, has any impact on, on the state of Ukraine, Russia, mm. and what's happening generally in the world? Because she'd, she wrote an op-ed for the Washington Post after she landed, and she mentioned she also referenced China's actions in Hong Kong, Tibet, and the genocide that China mm. is doing against, against the Uyghurs. Uyghurs. Mm. 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 Yeah, I think, I think that, look, America is a very frustrated place. They've got a weak president who was never, even when he was in his prime, regarded as good enough to be president. Now he's in his dotage, he's president. He's selected a vice president who doesn't seem to be remotely up to the job. And there's a lot of frustration. Look, he will never live down Biden that dismal um, um, evacuation mm. of American uh, forces in Afghanistan. In Afghanistan. And uh, in the, the Chinese need to understand, as do we all, the American president runs a bit of America. Uh, the Congress runs a lot of America. Mm. Mm. And the fact of the matter is that the senior ranking Democrat, the number three in the American political system, has basically shown she doesn't care what Biden thinks mm. because she has been a bit of an anti-China warrior for a long yeah. time. And, and interesting that both Pompeo and John Bolton have tweeted their support for what she did, which, you know, from the Republicans. Um, just before we move on, a final thought about the UK stance. We talked about the warnings from the Chinese ambassador here in London against us following uh, Pelosi's uh, suit yeah. over there. Our Foreign Secretary is obviously quite distracted <laughs> at the moment, in the middle of a leadership contest, yeah. taking her eye off the ball. I mean, is there an actual danger, do you think, that the with vacuum. the situation yesterday, yeah. with 
al-Qaeda mm. leader yeah, in course. Afghanistan, mm. the situation and, 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 with, the, with the Odessa grain ship, and now what's unfolding I mean, in Why don't in they get on with it? You know, they're, they're sending out to a lot of, you know, the Conservative Party has its own geriatrics, and quite a lot of them are members yeah. of the Conservative we'll, we'll, Party. We'll come to we'll that come in to that a moment, moment. Yeah. So why are they the taking... Job. Exactly. Yeah. Why are they taking so long?